Yo, I'm Casey, and you're gonna watch me break down the beat from my song, Dwell. This is gonna be the first episode in a series where I just break down all the beats for my new project called For Now. It is available everywhere, For Now by Casey Cope. Go slap that shit, slap my mixtape, is fire. Hopefully you enjoy this. I'm gonna try to make it accessible for people who don't listen or who don't make music, but still try to get nitty gritty enough for people who do, so. Um, hopefully I'm not too technical and not over, and not underly technical for people who are into this shit, but we'll see how it goes. Basically what happened, me and Big Soda have been messing around with this auto-tune choir -y effect where basically you just auto-tune one vocal and just copy and paste it like seven times and just pitch them up and down and have it be all in the same key and then you're just singing chords. Um, and it turns out to be real, like just fake and auto tune -y, but it's fucking great, I think. It's kind of the crux of this song. Um, and this is what it sounds like. And we just had it like this, just with the snaps. And this was the first thing that we did, and this is all we had for probably like two weeks before I had to add anything else. And you can hear me making all these weird sounds. It's because when you're in auto-tune, you can do literally whatever you want and it'll like sound fine. So experimenting with weird sounds in auto-tune is like a great way to just come up with some weird ass cool shit. Basically, the next thing I went and added was uh, the bass underneath, which I didn't want to have any drums on this song initially. I wanted it to just be pure, like soulful, vibing. See, usually when I make my beats, I do drums first and I just get really bored with making drum patterns and shit. So I figure I'll just use other instruments in lieu of drums. And this is how it turned out with the bass line. So the very next thing, I went and added an organ that basically followed the chords of the bass, but the chords kind of didn't make sense and I gave it to Big Soda and he was like, ah, these notes are out of key, these notes are out of key, and he went and flipped and changed the MIDI notes. And I was like, ah, I don't know how I feel about these new chords, like let me go home and take this home and fuck with it. I went home and changed the chords to like B in key and they turned out to be the exact chords that Big Soda came up with in the studio. So these are the organ chords <laughs> that came out of that. It's just playing the same melody as the bass. Just real simple, but it gives you enough bounce with the bass acting as a kid. And then with the auto tune, guys. Singing different chords on top is super interesting. take it back a step i added this guy called a uh, warbly here plays the exact same chords as the organ so let me uh strip this down real quick and you can hear what these just sound like on their own i like that super fast at a time that's just super cool and with the organ it's quite the same chords. So that's the crux of the whole instrumental, pretty much. I come in and change the claps here when this warbly guy comes in. So here's the thing that Big Soda is really, really good for, is these fucking transitions. This guy right here is like one note that just bends. And it just stays on that note the rest of the time. But see now, you play it with the organ and it sounds like this. And he does a lot of stuff like that where he leaves the note hanging so the chords will change underneath and this one note is still playing up here. 
and with each chord change, it feels different. Ah, yeah, Big Soda's incredible for that shit. One of the transitions I added, this is just a guitar right here, but it's honestly probably my favorite instrument on the whole track, it's just this guy. It just makes sections sound way bigger when you go into them. Going from this organ with the transition. Mm. Okay, we almost done. Just a couple more things in this beat, I promise. So later on, I added this synth lead. The thing I like about this synth that comes in is it's playing two sounds and it has a pitch bend on it on only one of them. So one will go slide down an octave and then comes all the way back up, something like this. Ah, I love that, it adds so much. So uh, playing that with the organs and warblies. So when the kick comes in at the end, this might be the most interesting part of the song to me. Basically the, the bass was supposed to act as a kick and it's so simple that I want to just add a bunch of kicks on the in-betweens and they play off each other in super strange ways. So here's just the kick and the bass and the snare. And I have the snare reverb that sounds super dirty. Uh, also, very last thing. Okay, I wasn't gonna show this part because I was gonna stick strictly to beats, but I just have to show it because it's my favorite part of the whole album. Let alone this song is my favorite part of the whole album. It might be the favorite part of anything I've ever been a part of. It's really good. This is Crybaby singing the bridge. I'm just gonna show you the acapella real quick. It's fucking incredible. Um, there's some headphone bleed, but like, fuck it. And you know that I'm watching. You know that I want you Trying to focus on something, babe And you know that I'm watching Please don't go, I'm trying to be here Please don't go, I'm trying to be here I thought of organ enemy And you know that I'm watching You know that I want you Trying to focus on something, babe And you know that I'm watching Please don't go, I'm trying to be here Please don't go, I'm trying to be here And I'm gonna just give you this end part, here's everything together Alright y'all, that was the breakdown for Dwell. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you learned something. Um, subscribe, like, comment, all that shit. Support your local artists. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>